Hey, what's up? Brew Dude's back here with another beer. Today we have this, the big one, the Natural Light. Brewed in America since 1977. I believe it's 4.5% ABV, 4.2% ABV. Ingredients, water, barley malt, cereal grains, hop, yeast, beer. By Anheuser-Busch. Nice little can. So I decided to want to do the the light lager, American style lager challenge to see if you're able to tell the difference in taste. Um, it's I've been watching a lot of videos out there that they're doing a bunch of uh, challenges. Uh, most recent ones from Louisiana Beer Reviews, uh, Ronald uh, did a bunch of them. I want to try it out and see, see if I can tell a difference. At the end of the day, American light loggers, light loggers here are very, some people would call it crappy, but I don't even think about it as crappy. I think of it as there is a beer for every type of, every beer has a purpose. You're going to drink your light lagers for certain times, for certain reasons. You're going to drink your pell ales. You're going to drink your amber ales. You're going to drink your brown ales, your porters, your stouts. Whatever, you're going to drink them at any... At, there's purposes for every reason that you're going to drink each beer. So, I don't bash these beers. At the end of the day, there was craft involved. Whether it was machined or worked or different ways, a beer still needed to be made. And that process alone, if you are a brewer, knows that it takes a while. So let's go ahead and uh, try this bad boy. All right. I've never had it. So I was wanted to, I started mentioning about the three beer uh, Mer light lager challenge. I've never had natural light. That's why I wanted to try it. That way I can go ahead and do it in a future video. So let's go ahead. Put it really, really cold. I dumped it in the freezer just so it can get really, really cold. I do drink light beers occasionally, so you want to drink them very cold. The smell, very close to every other light lager that I've had. It's kind of hard. Let's go ahead and pour it. Very light in color. Light. Pale straw, white, white head, very foamy. Actually, get a little hint of hops in the back. Kind of give it that. Just a little tad bit of citrusy. But I get, I get, I get the malt there. I get the cereal malt. Every time I drink a light lager, I, I always envision like. Not all of them, but a lot of them have this kind of like ground Cheerio. Like just a basic Cheerio aftertaste and scent. I, sm I smell a little bit of alcohol just because when we have a beer that l that's low in hops, uh, low in IBUs, low in color, low in everything else what creates the body of the beer you're able to distinguish these alcohol characteristics in the beer. So I smell the alcohol just a tad bit. It doesn't smell bad. It smells like, you know, the classic American style lager, light lagers. Hmm. Hmm. 
Now, it does taste a little different now. I've tasted a lot of the other ones, the Miller Lights, the uh, Bud Lights, the Coors Light, and a lot, a, lot, a lot of other light beers. And just from drinking this one here, I'm able to kind of distinguish a little flavor difference. I'm not here to compare and contrast with other ones. I'm just here to share what I'm experiencing with this one. Off the front, it's very mild, kind of dull, watery for sure. Carbonation is not as not as um, uh, spicy or it doesn't even bite as much as I thought. It actually lowered down. There's just a little bit of bubbles coming up. Very, very clear. Obviously lagered very well. It's very bland, just kind of right off the front, watery. About mid-range, we get that little, just a little bite of carbonation. Then it ends very cereal-based um, grain. It ends like you just chewed on some, just the basic Cheerios. You just chewed them up, drank a little bit of water, swallowed them, and that's exactly what you get. Not my favorite of these light lagers. Got it my local 7-Eleven for about a buck and some change. I'm thinking maybe it was like a buck 79 or something like that. Let's just say for the three of these would be a six pack, you know, six bucks. If you're into just something you want to drink with the guys or by yourself watching a game, yeah, I get it. You know, I think I saw the the Coors Light were like two seventy nine, so it was like a buck more. Um, nothing, nothing exciting. It doesn't stand out. Lower carbonation than I expected. Drinkable for sure, chuggable for sure. But for its style, it's pretty good. For its style though, I prefer other light lagers that I've had over this one. But it is in its style. Nothing really else about the beer to say. So if you're looking for something light and good good to the pocket, good to the finances, and that you can enjoy, go get it. Natural Light Anheuser-Busch, 4.2% alcohol. Barley malt, cereal, malt, hops, yeast. It's a beer and water. With that said, Brew Dude is out.